three, two, one. And liftoff of Noah's Goes Ark. America's most the most advanced weather satellite in the nation took off from Cape Canaveral just after 3.40. There was a one-hour delay because of a technical issue, but the crew worked quickly to get the launch ready just in time. It is a $1 billion investment and could be a game changer when it comes to weather forecasting. So, Matt Zafino from our Portland sister station traveled to Florida for this historic launch. Matt? Sulla, it was amazing. You mentioned the one hour delay, and I'll tell you what, they got this launch tonight by just barely. It was basically the bottom of the ninth inning, seventh game of the World Series, and they hit a home run because had they waited a minute longer, they would have had to wait a whole nother day that has to go during a certain window to get it into the right orbital uh, arrangement. So they got it done, and it was spectacular. The energy here at Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center when this is happening, and really for the three days I've been here, has just been profound and palpable. Really the, the hopes and dreams and hard work of thousands of scientists and engineers got it to this point, got it into orbit, and now the hopes and dreams of thousands of more scientists and engineers are riding on this rocket that launched Gozar into space. It will give us data five times faster, four times the resolution, and three times as much. So we'll see things like thunderstorms and lightning bursts faster than we've never seen before. The improvement in data, it's basically a 40-year jump in technology because the satellites that are up there right now that you see on the news when we do weather every night, that's based on 1975 technology. We didn't even have, forget about cell phones. We didn't even have home computers. We were using slide rules back in those days. So the, the leap in technology is, is really generational. We'll get the first images in a couple of months. Those will be test images. Gozar, which will be renamed Go 16 when it becomes operational, will become operational about a year from now. Sulla? Really amazing. Matt, thank you so much for that live report. Hundreds of new trees.